What's up y'all? Welcome back to the Fabulous Trucker channel. Today is going to be a different type of video. Um, I'm going to be explaining the new update for the Rand McNally GPS. Um, from what I understand every year there is a map update and um, I'm going to share with you guys the problem I had with it and how to fix it. Um, so I actually have the Rand McNally 750 and she is working now but let me tell you when I first tried to do the update it did not work. Let me explain. This is the largest update that Rand McNally has actually come out with. It is 6.5 gigabytes. So it is actually a very large update. Again, it's the largest one to date that they've tried to do. Um, it has been explained to me by the Rand McNally tech people that what is happening is drivers are trying to update it either through um, hotspot through their phone or basically a very weak Wi-Fi connection, which I'm telling you now, if you are going to be updating this 6.5 gigabyte update, you do not want to do that. I was told specifically, do not use hotspot and do not use weak Wi-Fi. I was suggested either to use a very strong um, home, you know, Wi-Fi or go to a Loves and pay for their Wi-Fi because supposedly their Wi-Fi is strong enough to do it. This is just what I was told. So warning, if you're trying to do this update, do not use hotspot because it will not work. Trust me, it will not work. My Wi-Fi at home is not the best and it did not work. So essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to be prompted, hold on, down here. If there's an update to occur, it's going to be down here. You tap it, it'll bring the update up. You're going to try updating it again sorry, use good Wi-Fi. It's going to do the normal updating stuff, but once it's done updating, and this is where the fault happens, and I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen, could happen, and how to fix it. Every time I would try to use the navigation or the uh, settings, this is exactly what happened. I'd tap it, and it'd send me right back out. Every time, it wouldn't let me bring up navigation, settings was the same way so I tapped the settings and it kicked me out right away so I called Rand McNally and I was like what is going on I need this fixed like your girl's not going to be using an atlas all week so what's happening so what has been told by me by the Rand McNally people I first needed to try a factory reset. Now, I could not figure out how to do the factory reset because I couldn't even get it to my settings. So, if you wanna go to your settings to try the factory reset first, which you will lose everything, it's kinda of like a phone. Drag it down, and then you're gonna tap the little gears, and boom, you're into your settings. Let me see, hold on. And then after the settings, I cannot see, so I don't know why I decided to do it like this. Basically, you're gonna go to system and you'll get the choice of reset options. You're gonna do it like that. So that was the first thing that was suggested to me. It's gonna take a minute. It will probably wipe everything, but if that does not fix it, here's the issue. What was explained to me is the, when it was updated, again, this is the largest update there is for the maps. Um, basically, with the internet I was using, the files were either missing or they needed repair. In my case, all of the files pretty much needed repair. So that is when all I had to do was connect it to a stronger Wi-Fi or, you know, take it to a Loves or whatever to get the strong Wi-Fi and go through and this is where it helps because I didn't know we had this option. You are going to go to truck tools. You are going to scroll to GPS repair. Boom. Done. It's going to take you through a couple options. You continue to basically just go through with the options and then you're going to be able to update it. Um, it'll fix all the files or complete the missing files and then your GPS is gonna be good to go. It's really that simple. This is just the, what Rand McNally Tech has told me to do. They have had this problem with a lot of the Rand McNally's. Um, the gentleman I was talking to said he had like 15 calls 
before I called about the Rand McNally's, the uh, 750s that were doing it. Um, that is all he told me to do. And if it still did not work, then there was actually a system issue with the GPS itself. And that's probably when the warranty would have to kick in, or you might just have to get a new one depending. I bought mine in February of this year. So it's only been nine months, but don't freak out if this happens. It's just the update. Try what I just told you with the GPS repair on the truck tools. If that does not work, then that's when I would call Rand McNally. The reason why I wanted to make this video is simply because I freaked out and was really anxious about it. And it took me forever to get in touch with tech support. So with that being said, try that. I don't know what to tell you other than that. I'm not a tech person. This was, you know, super easy. So that's all I have to say. This is the video today. That's it. Um, I'm going to do a part two video on just kind of explaining and showing the pluses of having a Rand McNally. I've never had a Garmin, but I do like my Rand McNally. There are some issues I have with it, which I'll explain in the next video. Um, this is just kind of a, hey, if you're trying to do the update and this happens, here you go, because I couldn't find any videos of this on YouTube when I was looking. So you're welcome. I hope everyone has a great day. Be safe out there. Ladies, you're awesome. Gentlemen, you're great. I'm sorry. I got to give the ladies awesome, but y'all have a great day. Whatever. See y'all later.